everybody. Welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithmelva.com. Happy Easter, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. I'm looking forward to uh, spending some time with my uh, niece and nephew and their families uh, this afternoon when they arrive and uh, having dinner. So hopefully you're having some family time or just some quiet time um, today. It's pouring with rain here on the, on the West Coast, so hopefully it's nicer where you are. So today I'm going to make a mini pocket envelope. I think that's what it's called, mini pocket envelope. So I'm going on the incentive trip in May to, uh, we're uh, going on a cruise to the Norwegian fjords. And so I'm going to use this as my uh, little, uh, it'll hold the tip that I give to the cabin. Uh, steward and others on the ship and so I thought I would uh, make it today and uh, hopefully it'll turn out. I haven't uh, played with this die very much uh, but it looks really cute and I'm going to pair it with the country bouquet bundle which is the punch bundle. Uh, I'm so happy that it's carried over into the, the next annual catalog. Hey Betty, hey Darlene, welcome. Um, so I'm going to use that because I thought it was kind of generic because if I use, I don't know if the, the cabin steward is going to be male or female. Um, and if I use it for, for others to give tips, then then I, a heart I think is pretty generic. And it's pink and blue. <laughs> so it's going to be very generic, uh, not one way or the other. All right, let me switch over and we'll get started. All right, so this is the Country Bouquet um, Bundle. I've used this a lot, so you've probably seen my videos where I've used it. So it's got the stamps that punch out um, as well as the leaves. And then it's got this very detailed um, two-step two stamping um, stamp and some really nice sentiments. It doesn't have to be just for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to use this little for you um, sentiment. So these images actually are 90%. So they, they're much bigger stamps than what's on here. And then this is the the mini mini pocket envelope die. So this is the die. So it's quite small. Um, and then you've got all sorts of ones. If you want to put a window in, um, there's two sizes of uh, window, actually, and even a, an oval. There's a little tag. I'm not sure what that's for. I have to play with it. And that as well. Anyway, um, if you want to cut holes in it. So all sorts of little dies that you can use to make these. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. And I've already gone ahead and cut out my, my pocket and my tag. All right. So I'm using, where I said I, pink and blue. It looks baby-ish, but that's kind of the color that I was thinking and goes quite well with, with this. This is the paper um, that is part of the country floral lane. Um, and so that's what I was thinking. I'm going to use this blue with the hearts. Um, so I cut out two. So the dies, when you cut them out, already are have the little flap on them. I have an owie. <laughs> yes, I cut myself quilting, um, Betty. Gosh. You'd think I'd learn, but yeah, took a big snip out of my finger when I was trying to cut a little piece off of something I'm making. All right, so these dies um, are already pre-scored, have the flaps. Oh, I didn't do very well with that one. The flaps cut. So I'm just taking my bone folder and folding right on that score line that is already there for you. And then I'm going to use Terran tape. It's just big enough. Actually, it's, you know what? I'm going to use liquid glue because it's that uh, tearing tape I'm going to be fighting with. So I'm just going to put a little bit. What is the name of the die set? This die set is called the Mini Pocket Envelope Dies. It's just a standalone set of dies and it has been carried over. I was so excited to see that it's carried over since I haven't used it all that much. Oh, ah, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, <laughs> I'm just going to let that. I got a lot of glue on there because I was squeezing it so hard. So I'm just going to try and put. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to take that and fold these over. And of course, you know me, I'm going to get glue all over my fingers, which I hate. Let me wipe the glue off. 
All right, so we will just take and gently fold that up along that line, aligning the bottom and the sides as best we can. There we go. when I get glue on my fingers. Okay. So push that down, let it set. If you use tear and tape, um, you, you will be good. Uh, yeah, paper cuts are terrible too. And this morning I was cutting a can of pineapple open and managed to cut myself, but luckily it didn't, it didn't bleed quite like the my paper or my scissors did. My, my fabric scissors are really sharp. All right. So there's not perfect along the edge and I might trim that off a little bit um, just so it doesn't look so. There we go. Okay, so there's your little envelope. So they are quite tiny, um, but it'll fit a little bit of money in there. And then I cut a piece of the uh, designer series paper. Now, what did I cut this? I cut this two and a quarter by three and a half. So if you if you want to, yes, I know, I love my adhesive remover. So, and I've realized I'm gonna have to trim it because that pocket is there. So I, it shouldn't be three and a half, it should be, I measured on the long side, uh, three inches. So we'll just take, so if you cut it two and a quarter by three, it will fit on the front of your envelope. So this is the one that's got a little, it's, it's balmy blue and it's got the little hearts. It's on the back of these flowers, but I thought I wouldn't put too many flowers on this since I could be giving this to, to a man. So I'm just gonna put that on there. All right, so now we can do some stamping. So I've got some basic white here. So I'm gonna stamp the heart. So I'm gonna stamp this twice because I want one heart that is in pink and one in blue. So there's the petal pink. And we'll just clean, clean this off. You've got your stamp and scrub. I love my stamp and scrub. I kind of haven't been using the chamois because every time I go to use them, they are uh, dry. <laughs> so at least with this, I have my my uh, stamp and mist, and I can always always kind of have it. There we go. So I've got a heart in petal pink and a heart in um, balmy blue. And while we're at it, I went and cut. One of, well, I cut two of the little um, tags. These are very tiny little tags. Oh, I forgot to cut the leaves. So we're just gonna stamp these, the for you, which just I think will fit on there. There we go. And I'm not so sure what color green to do, but I think I'm gonna do old olive. And stamp, stamp the leaves. I'm going to stamp two sets of leaves like that. I might have to redo that because now that I've done that, I've realized that when I cut this out, I might end up cutting it. But let's let's cut the or punch the. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to stamp my. That wasn't so clever. Think about where your um, where your uh, your punch is going to go because now I've cut the end of my um, uh, my heart off and now I'm probably going to cut part of this leaf off. There's a leaf and there's a leaf. Yep. All right. Let's let's do this again. We're giving a tip to a man. Yeah, I know. That's I, I kind of think that nobody's going to turn this down. Um, a tip is a tip, whether it's if they don't like the, um, if they don't like the the, um, the the hearts, they can they can just throw it away. 
All right, and I realized I didn't clean my stamp pad off and it's kind of a funny color. So let's let's clean this stamp pad off, my heart stamp pad, and we'll restamp this in petal pink so it's not got this kind of blue tinge and was making it much grayer. And it may not show, but it uh, uh, definitely was bothering me. I am, I don't know if you've noticed uh, when I came on live, I'm in, uh, I'm in a winter sweater here because it's feeling chilly. All right, so there's my pink parts and now we'll cut out these. Only took me a few, a few tries to uh, get my stamped images correct. All right, so let's actually kind of get these on. So I was thinking I was going to just kind of do it like this and maybe like that. And then put these kind of tucked in behind. I like that. I did four, so let's. There's the other one. Something like that. And then I have this little tag that I will just kind of put maybe there. And I've got some um, twine to put on. So let's let's use some dimensionals. Ooh, plus 15. Lovely weather for you. Not so, I don't know what it is. It's probably not all that cold. It's just rainy, so it feels, I don't know. Always makes me feel cold. Although I'm sure as I turn my oven on to put, I'm having ham and scalloped potatoes. And then my niece is bringing dessert and my nephew is supposed to be bringing a vegetable. So we'll see what he's bringing. I don't know what the dessert is and I don't know what the vegetable will be, but I have a salad to go with it. And then scalloped potatoes and uh, hot cross buns, you know, kind of traditional, at least in my family. Maybe it's not traditional for you. I shouldn't assume it's traditional, but for us, it's, uh, we always, I grew up eating kind of ham and scalloped potatoes on Easter. So there we go. And then I'm just going to use glue dots because when I stick things underneath, something that's popped up. I find glue dots just are so easy. And if I just put them on here and I can tear that off and then I don't lose, lose all my little bits. So we'll just pick that up and stick it under there. And like that. So I probably will make four or five of these envelopes to take with me. So this is my, this will be my prototype, which is good. All right, now where's my stamp? So I have some of this white. This is the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. It comes with white uh, crumb cake, uh, Sahara sand, gray granite. No, very vanilla black. Not sure what color that is. Maybe it's not gray granite. Anyway. Now that I think about it, because gray granite is one of the colors that is retiring. I was thinking about using blue ribbon on here, the variegated white and blue ribbon, but definitely won't go through. Um, won't go through. It's too small. So let's uh, let's just take and put some uh, white Baker's twine through it. I'm trying to read the notes. 15 degrees. Lawn is showing. Oh, yay, Betty. That's good because you've had so much snow. Oh, soup is great. Yeah. All right. Tie that. Then I'm just going to put this on with, there they are, mini dimensionals. And I'll tie the bow when I get it on here, just because it, I find it easier to tie the bow when it's actually uh, on. All right, so I'm just going to put that right like that, kind of like that, and then we'll tie 
Oof. I'm going to jip myself here if you don't do what I do. I tend to think I can tie bows with little bits. Oh, this is going to be a test. Let's see if I can actually do it. There we go. Oof. Try not to leave myself such a challenge. There we go. I think I'll just leave the tags kind of long. And then, yes, I hope so too. Oh, is the crinkle ribbon? I haven't looked, Betty. It's quite possible that um, crinkle ribbon is sold out. Um, I still have a little bit left. So these are the solid faceted gems. Now they are retiring, but I thought I would use them. Um, so they come in the balmy blue, Knight of Navy. I'm not sure if that's blushing bride or petal pink, but it actually goes quite nicely with, with this. And then melon mambo, pool party, and mossy meadow. So it's a great combination. Unfortunately, they're going away, but I still have lots to use. There we go. So there's a little envelope. So I'll put a little bit of uh, money in there and uh, hopefully they'll like it. I also, uh, I don't know, I've never been on a cruise before, so this is new to me. Um, so I'm going to make some of those for the tip uh, for the cabin staff and maybe the porter. Uh, and I also bought some maple candy and maple syrup because I thought maybe just leaving a little, a little nice little thing like that that's kind of Canadian um, would be nice in the room. So uh, we'll take those with us as well. Anyway, there we go. Hopefully you enjoy that. If you haven't seen these, um, these mini pocket uh, envelopes, check them out. Like I said, they are carrying over, which is really good news, um, but they're perfect for little gifts. Um, you could even put little treats um, in them, little little tiny chocolate bars, little candy things in them. They, they're good for all sorts of things. Um, I think they'd make a great shaker card too. I haven't tried that, but I think they would make a great shaker card with the, um, the dies that you can cut that front opening. Thanks, Darlene. I hope so. Uh, okay, so there's the there's the pocket envelope. Uh, let's see. I will be live now. I'll be have my tomorrow night class at seven o'clock Pacific. So hopefully you'll join me. So I know it's Easter Monday, but I am going to do a class. So join me for that. We'll make a card or a project, uh, and uh, and then Tuesday night's my sketch challenge at six thirty Pacific. So hopefully you can join me then. Oh, Darlene, that will be fun uh, on Alaskan cruise too. Yes. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Hope you have a great Easter and we will see you, some of you tomorrow night and then on Tuesday night at 6.30 Pacific. Thanks for joining, happy stamping, bye.